We sort of met up and instantaneously, it felt like a, like a family feeling. So still the most important job of the day is feeding the stars. Everyone, everyone's got to eat. Me, yeah. Everyone's got to eat. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go and get this food, we'll have this food and then we'll start sitting there. Yeah, we'll get the food and then we'll start getting the lights and the camera and set up and stuff. Natalie um, said she had a fantastic script. And, you know, it's great to work with such a... Um, a great director and um, a great team. Okay, so just basically log everything, write down what it is. Um, Leo, have a copy. I'm telling you to write everything down of what you're going to have. Okay, and just file it in there. That's fine. Um, I mostly just do photography and short films, and I do a lot of lighting assisting, or again, photographers, or again, more films. Well, just do some watch this. Well, you can see it better than me. I can't see it. Thank you. I think it's a fantastic story. Uh, I think it will do well as well. If we can, if we can uh, pull it off and get it out where Nat wants it to look, I think it will be really good, mate. Um, the second section is up to when the tooth gets pulled out, yeah. the pliers. So what we'll do is for that, that, that the one with the tooth is going to be the last section. Yeah. Uh, set's looking nice, lighting's looking good, uh, camera's ready to go, just waiting on a few touches up on makeup and good to go. Nick wants to have a chat with you. That's fine. Yeah. Talk to you both. The idea developed when um, I spoke to Paul. Uh, I'd known Paul from a while, but we'd, we'd done a course together. When Pete first sent me the script and I read it, it was dark, moody, you know, juicy, and you know, that's the sort of characters I, I, I like to play. Paul was really keen on it. He really liked the idea. He could immediately see himself as the skinhead. He was really, really taken by it, and it's, it's something he really wanted to do, which made me, you know, I was happy about that. It's one of those roles that, you know, that come along every now and again. He thought, yeah, you know, that's me. I can, I can do that. You know, I, I can relate to that. Paul mentioned that his partner Natalie was a film director. It's a very intricate relationship between a director and a scriptwriter. We had enough similarities that, you know, we could tell straight away that it was going to work. That we would work well together, and that the, you know, the way the project would come to life would be sort of in a mutually beneficial way. I would wrote this script. Paul was an actor. Natalie was a filmmaker. It was a marriage made in heaven, really, and it just all seemed to slot into place. I'm keeping it mostly close up because I imagine it like from what we when we were talking. Yeah. Um, it's really intimate. My interpretation was that I wanted it to come across quite edgy and quite claustrophobic and dark, really. Our vision, we're, we're, we're almost identical shot for shot. Our ideas were similar, but it had a different element to it than what I would generally bring to something. And I think that's very important as well. We both spoke about it being very dark and, and um, yeah, it, just, it was just magical. Basically going close-ups, medium close-ups, extreme close-ups and very occasional mid-shots. Yeah, and a high angle shot yeah. of the tooth being pulled out. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like, yeah. hi, we're going to get him up on a chair. And he turns and looks up. Looking down, Chen's got his head yeah. pulled back like that, and the thing's yeah. going in, yeah. and then the tooth gets pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine chair. <laughs> <laughs> the game is a fault. You know, we, we organised an audition, and, um, it, it surprised me how quick the um, how quick it all came together. I initially put an advertisement out online uh, looking for uh, another cast member. I got a message from Natalie, the director. She checked my profile on the agency website and she asked me if I'm interested in attending an audition. You know, they travelled from all over the country. And that's when it hit home with me that we, we were doing something special. I was there to help the other guys react against, because the other character doesn't really say a lot, it's a lot more about how they react to me. Mark was the um, first actor to sit down. And he gave this performance alongside Paul. It nearly brought me to tears. 
I mean, me and Pete had a look at each other like, wow, if this is the standard way we're expecting today, we're going to be in for a treat. Pretty feel lucky to, to get this pot. Because it's a, a lot of emotions in that character, but without any words, lines, it's kind of difficult one. I have to build a lot of story about like, this character and the, and the relationship between uh, another one. For me, it's, it's simply you know thinking about what it would be like as a human being to put yourself in another human being's position, first and foremost. You know, if, if that was happening to you, how would you feel? How do you deal with it? I think because there's some strong emotion acting in that script, I think it's a really good chance to do that kind of challenge. The ice on the cake is the actual physical transformation. So we're off to the hairdressers now, get rid of uh, Paul's hair. Uh, yeah. He's going to have a bit of a tattoo on the side of his head and um, yeah, we're good left. We're just going to turn him into a bit of a psycho now, so this is transformation, uh, transformation period as we call it. Oh yeah. <laughs> thanks very much for that. No yeah, but thanks, buddy. Oh, Appreciate no that. You know, getting, getting the hair shaved, getting the tattoos on. I'm just doing um, a tattoo, so it's kind of like a tribal thing, just coming down onto onto the neck. So I'm just I've just done an outline, so I'm just spinning it in making it sharper. Then I'm going to set it with a bit of powder and then maybe go over it a little bit so it's nice and, and set. Because he's going to have that, something reflected onto the arm as well. And it's all those little spokes in the wheel that bring everything together. Shots 11 to 15, first section of an S, a stream close up, a close up, take two. Action. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it went well. That um, I enjoyed licking Mark a few quite hundred times. That was nice. It's fine. How did, how's shoots going? Is it right? Yeah, it's fine. Everything's so good and quite still quite excited. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I think makeup is really awesome. Ah. <laughs> 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 Put your face and you've got that. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Just going, Dave. What's that? Just going. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Uh, next scene, um, more torture. Does it hurt? I think a director generally comes in and has to see how that's going to come come to life as a whole you know, with their own interpretation, along with also taking a piece of the writer along with them. Because it's not a feature, you feel like you're trying to get away with with a lesser idea, when really a short has to be much better written and much better directed and acted because you have so little time to get your point across to the audience. And that's what we were doing with, with this one, I felt. So does it hurt, yeah? Does it hurt? Remember, you're showing that knife close to his face. Does it hurt? And it's okay if we get a bit go of a shot, shot there. Then go back. You go back, you do your rustling about, and remember you look yeah, yeah. that way, and then that <laughs> way. <laughs> the cast and the crew were fantastic. What a bunch of people, they're so professional. I couldn't thank them enough for what they contributed to this film, because they worked so hard, and they were all very talented people. They're really talented, amazing, fantastic. I can't big them up enough. To see these guys all doing what they love, um, passionately to try and bring you know this 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 script that I'd wrote you know in one night of depression to life. It was you know it was heartwarming. It was it was emotional. Everyone produced the goods on the day. Um, it, was, it was quite emotional seeing that, especially looking at some of the uh, the rushes that we've got. Amazing stuff, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be part of that. It's it's always amazing to work with the team, the friendly team, professional team. I think it's really an um, unforgettable experience. Here on the set of uh, Blue Peter the Third. <laughs> Does it hurt? 
Everything in it is is sublime. It you know, it really has hit what I was thinking, what I what I saw when I when I wrote the script. Take one on S, medium close up. Take one. Action. How you feeling, Paul? Good. Yeah, feeling good now. Kind of take Tired, but good. Um, <coughs> I'm just saying before, I reckon we've done something special here today. Without a doubt, everybody. Really have high hopes for this film. I'm amazed by it. Absolutely amazed. So, Pete, how does it feel? It's like seeing your script come to life. Yeah. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. You know, like when I sat there that night and just, just wrote it. And and I wrote it again, I wrote it again, I wrote it again, and doubted it. And then I, I just looked into myself and I thought, you know, this is like um, the essence of, um, of everything, really. You know, because look what I've created. I've created like all these people getting here, this film being shot, the people that are going to see it. And it's hopefully going to touch a lot of people. But, uh, it's just amazing that you know, ten years ago I had nothing, nothing, and now like you're creating this. It's just amazing, man. We have nothing to fear.